Hello. Hi, Miss. Hello, Hi. Miss. Hello, Hi. everyone. Hi. So you guys are watching Listen Up with JJ Show, and I'm Joanita. And I'm Joanne. So how are you, Joanne? How's everything going? Yeah, it's good <laughs> now, but just quite hectic, lah, because there's so many assignments and FYPs going on, right? And so, how about you, Joanita? Yeah, it's quite tiring also with all this uh, FYP and internship, and due to all this uh, whole COVID situation, um, students and teachers are quite forced to uh, move their communication online. Yeah, I know, right? Teachers and administrators are working hard, so during lockdown and trying to keep students on track and shifting to online learning within the shortest time. So uh, let's not waste our time and invite our first special guest today, uh, Ayman Apik. Hello, Hi, everyone. Ayman. Hi, everyone. Hi, how are you? Hi, Miss Joanne. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, okay. Currently, I'm still in Brunei, by the way. You know, since the COVID started last year, I haven't oh, gone back to I... Asia like in in a year, I think. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So I've been stuck online since then. <laughs> So what yeah. course are you taking I'm now? I'm at work. <laughs> yeah, miss. Uh, the 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 campus just opened, right? I mean, like some with conditions, I guess. Um. Yeah. I mean, not every lecturers are here. Yeah. Uh, yeah some yeah. of the administrative <laughs> yeah. staff are here. So, yeah. um, what I love coming back to the office, uh, for some personal reasons, <laughs> uh, I still send my daughter this side. So if I'm not at <laughs> office. I'll to come to Nilai to send my daughter, so uh, yeah, exciting. <laughs> Wish we all oh, are, are you doing? Right now in the class. Uh, I'm doing mechanical engineering. Uh, this is my third year, actually. Oh. Yeah. So, are you in Brunei or in Malaysia? I'm oh, I'm still in Brunei. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, uh, we know you are an uh, ex Intima member. So, tell us why and how did you become the member for uh, you, uh, you, Intima? <laughs> It's not really, uh, I mean, I guess it's part of Intima, but I'm not really the student council of Intima, but it's a, a ex cell to be precise. It's basically an, another small group for Intima, like it's under them. It's basically like, uh, it's for event purposes in helping in the Intima. So we're just like extra members, you know, in helping them organize like um, any events that they require. So basically, like uh, as um, part of service, like you learn a lot of things, like you know, become part of a member, like you know, uh, for example, like okay, um, I got ch- chosen as like program master. So yeah, you have to you have to actually learn like how to build a program flow and all those kind of stuff. So yeah. So how did you manage your position? Like at the same time, like you manage your studies. During uh, that this time, I think uh, it was back in 2018. I was still in my foundation year, so I think uh, it wasn't really uh, tough to handle my schedule. But after coming to degree, it was it was, it was a bit uh, it was a bit rough. So I, uh, during that time, I could handle my time management really well. <laughs> How did you cope up with your stress and stuff like that? What kind of activity you do when you get stressed? <laughs> I usually I just hang out with my Brunei friends there, you know. Sometimes like vent out my <laughs> frustrations there. You know, Nas <laughs> there over man. there. I mean, he, he knows like, you know, uh, us Bruneians usually hang out like at night, you know, to like, uh, to, our, to our friend's house and then sometimes we play board games and stuff like that. You know, to release the stress, the tension that from work that we had. So yeah. Other than that, nothing is it? Yeah. You don't get involved in any activities like uh, curriculum activities? Uh, curriculum activities? Uh, I'm guessing uh, sometimes we do have like sports activities like frisbee and you know those kind of sports activities with the Bruneians also. So that, that's another uh, activity that I, I, re- I release my stress and tension. 
Okay, yeah. so uh, it was fun having you with us today, yeah, Aiman. So thank you for joining us today. And <laughs> we have another two special guests with us today, Miss Joanna and also Logan. Hi, how are you, Logan? Long time no see. Hi. Hi, Miss. How's everything going? Yes, long time no see. Good to see you all. I mean, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything going, Logan? Okay, FYP, keeping me really busy, but other than that, pretty good. <laughs> okay, so with all the online studies and Miss Jo, can you tell us about the pressure uh, when you do online lectures? Like what challenge? Wow, that's do a you see? That's a hard question, but I will try to answer. <laughs> um, I, I think, first of all, it's new. It's definitely a challenge, uh, especially if you're one of the, you know, one of these lectures who, I'm not going to say traditional, but there is always, you know, that you, you would like to have touch, feel, hear, listen right in front of you. You know what I mean? So um, I, I had to, I had to literally change a lot of things, learn, uh, you know, how to do online events kind of thing. Um, I have another subject which is PR writing, and uh, that in, uh, requires, you know, a more guided uh, teaching. So sometimes with the online classes, I I feel like I have to teach I have to guide more and, and sometimes my classes are literally four hours or five hours even um, uh, and I and then you have FYP final year project I think that uh, Logan is doing at the moment some of you all are doing yeah, at the moment most of us yeah, are doing yeah, I think most of us, yeah. yeah and and you know that it, it's it's like I say it's very different compared to feel touch and here, right in front of you. And you know, like a lot of the lecturers that we have in MassCom, uh, we kind of do that, we kind of guide someone, you, you, you know, and doing it on online, it's just very, very different. It's, it's very, uh, I, use it, I wouldn't say pressure or stress, but it's just a whole new ball game that you have to, you know, uh, maneuver. And, and uh, how to say this, try to achieve what you can achieve. You, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Logan, how about you? How's FYP going? So How's it been? I'm in my final chapter of FYP. <laughs> Uh, a little bit. Okay. Internship is the problem. I have an interview coming up later today, so fingers crossed. Hopefully that goes well. But uh, yeah, point. FYP, it's a challenge because, like Miss Jo was saying, right, it's a different ball game now. It's not what it used to be. So I think all of us are just trying to do the best we can and cope with it, with this new yeah. challenge. So let's just hope we all make it out on the other side in one piece. Uh, so Miss, uh, do you think students are actually prepared for online classes, or they are just attending for the sake of attendance? <laughs> wow, that's uh, that's something I should not answer. But I do have, I do have to say that uh, there are some students who are just attending for the sake of attending, and I do believe that all of the lecturers are taking note of it. Um, I, I I think I want to add this one thing. I do know like some students who want to defer because. Um, you know, of the online class, not really about yeah. um, the other issues that, of course, we have during the pandemic, like financial issues. Um, but I always tell them, you know something, at the end of the day, right, when you are 22 or 23, a lot of people will be talking about, have you graduated or not? That's the bottom line. How you graduate, nobody's going to really ask you. You get what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. I that that's why I say, I think in terms of... Um, learning not teaching learning do we have or have we caught some students who are not paying attention of course we have uh but have 
majority of the students do what they have to do, I think it's quite a high percentage of what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Joanne. Mm, so Logan, as a mass comms student, like you're taking journalism, right? Yes. So are you uh, do you face any challenges like uh, when you need to go out and interview or like collecting the first hand information? Uh yeah, because nowadays we try to rely less on physically interviewing people because of uh, restrictions on travel borders as well. I can't really travel between states and most of my friends and most of my acquaintances are people in KL, people in Seremban and I'm here in Nilai. So nowadays we try to rely more on online surveys or I'll email them a questionnaire and I'll be like, hey, could you answer this and email me back? And you know how people get with emails sometimes, they'll, they'll forget it's there and then two days later I'm like, hi, do you remember my email? And they're like, oh, oh yeah, the email. Yeah, give me till tomorrow. And then, <laughs> and then I'm on a deadline, so I'm rushing and I'm like, ah, I gotta compile all this fast. And then it's a, it's a challenge, but it's fun because, you know, at least, you know, you're under pressure. You're like, okay, can I still keep up the quality that I'm known for? Can I still ensure that my work is up to standard while I'm under pressure? And that sort of helps you realize the kind of person you are in a way because you realize like, oh, I'm actually really good at working under pressure or you'll be like, I crumble under pressure, I should not be doing this. So you know about yourself better in future, you know how to tackle the situation. It's self-discovery in a way and I guess that would be the bright side of COVID to me. Self-discovery. So, yeah. Challenge but fun. Yeah. So, uh, so like, coming we're coming to the end of our to the end of our talk show today. Thank you, like, thank uh, you Logan, Joe, and Joe Logan and Miss Joe and Iman. Iman. Uh, hope to see you all soon. You soon. <laughs> yeah, hopefully to see you all soon. Yeah, exactly. Fingers oh. crossed, guys. <laughs> cross them, cross them, man. So thank you uh, all for today joining us. Thank Bye, guys. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. <laughs>